What's up guys, welcome back to Archie 2. Hope everyone's having an awesome day. So today I've got the beginning of a huge project that is going to fix some issues I have with the collection, how it's set up right now. So as you can see, got a lot of loose cartridges just lying around and I'm not gonna fix all of them because Pokemon Yellow is gonna need a very specific case. Um, but I've ordered 20 game cases. I paid about $40 for these. I've got four which are gonna be used for two for N64 for my copies of Stadium and Mario 64, as well as two for the NES for my copies of Metroid and Legend of Zelda. Then I have 16 DS cases. Now, the cool thing about these is these are the older DS cases with the GBA slide. So I will be using these for GBA games um, and I might give a couple to Hayden so he can have a few games. He has some loose cartridges as well. I don't believe he has as many as I do, but he has a lot of loose cartridges and this will be able to help him um, put them up. Of course, he wants to use the original boxes, which is you know, fair enough. Some people like that. I prefer the cases for the more protective side, but nothing wrong with wanting the actual boxes. But um, I might use these for some of my um, spare DS games too, because I do have, I believe, three DS games that are loose cartridge. Um, we got, like I said, 16 of them. I only have, I believe, 12 loose cartridge GBA games and the one Game Boy game and being in yellow. Uh, like I said, I got two 64 games, the Stadium of Mario 64. So I'm going to go through the process on everything, um, printing everything off. I'm going to have to use some tutorials as well. So um, this is not going to be super informative or anything, but I'm going to do my best to kind of cover it as I can. So actually, here's a couple of prototypes I've made of cover art. This was an accidental one that was too small, and I accidentally printed it in color. What I meant to do in grayscale, like this one is, um, this was full size on letter paper. I do have legal paper, which is what everyone recommends I use. Um, and we're going to start off with the, any of the N64 cases first because this will be the easiest ones to print uh, and it'll be the fastest ones to test because I do have my copy of Stadium sitting right there and my copy of Mario 64 in the console. I took it out yesterday for a picture to send to a friend of mine uh, and <laughs> the thing went naked so I just put the, the cartridge back in it. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start with the 264 games and we're going to go into the office here and do some printing. Alright, so we're over on the ROG laptop. Um, and I'm going to show you guys the art I have. Uh, this is for the 64. I got these off the cover project, which is a very great website for stuff like this. But we've got our Mario 64 art right here, um, and our Pokemon Stadium art right here. So this looks fantastic. I really like how this looks. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and load in the legal paper because I have letter paper in here. I also need a pair of scissors or one of those like really cool cutting boards. Uh, my mom has one, but I don't, so I might borrow that. Um, this is an HP Amp printer, um, which is a pretty good printer. It's got a Bluetooth speaker built into it, hence the name. Um, the problem is, I'll show you guys how small these ink cartridges really are. They're very small. I've got, you know, I got a fresh color one in there. I haven't used the color one yet. Oh, no, I have because that's how I printed the yellow one out there. But um that's fresh so we're going to be able to do that perfectly um we're also going to be doing this with legal paper like i said which i've got 500 sheets of it right here in this bag so i'm going to go ahead and get everything set up i'm going to use the usb pass through and this keyboard to plug the printer in and uh we're going to get started all right so we got our stadium one pulled up these are the dimensions you'll need legal you need to have it in landscape as well as have 0.5 on all four boxes he doesn't have 0.5 shown all here um but i do on mine um i've also got it set to the highest quality print because we are going to need that hopefully i've got the ink to handle it but we should be fine because this really doesn't use that much ink this one might because it's got a lot of blacks in it um but here i'll show you the page setup you should use so like i said legal it's on the main tray obviously 0.5 all the way around um So we'll set that to adjust to 100% normal time, or no, 100% normal size. That might cause some issues. So do that. Make sure that's done because that's one thing he does have up here. So yeah, just do all of this um, right here. Make sure all this is ticked right here, and you'll be good to go to print. I'm glad I didn't hit print until after that. So um, usually I would say print one in grayscale just to practice, but with how my black ink is. Um, I'd rather go ahead and just go full send. So we're gonna see what happens. Uh, here we go. One more time lapse is going to be. 
All right, guys, so the first box is printed. I'm gonna let that dry for a minute. I'm gonna go get the cutting board. I'm gonna borrow from my mom to cut all this stuff up real good for you guys. And uh, we'll make it look really good. I can't wait to put it in the case and test everything out. I pretty much just decided to go full send with it because I really wanted to see how it looks. So we'll give the printer a break after that because that took a good bit of time. <laughs> um, but it looks pretty cool. I can't wait to put it in the sleeve. So let's go ahead and go get the cutting board. I'll cut it up and we'll put it in the case. All right, guys, so now the Pokemon Stadium box is done. Looks really good. I really like how this turned out. Only problem is, is these cases were advertised to fit 64 games, yet it's a very loose fit. Like, there's no snapping or anything in there. It literally just sits in there, but it's a good enough fit to protect the game, and it doesn't, like, move around too much. So, all's well that ends well, I guess. So now we're going to move on to the Mario 64 Hopefully, I'm probably going to take a chill with the big cases after that, mainly because I haven't verified that these ca these cases even fit my NES stuff, which I'm going to do now, actually, since we're in here. Um, <laughs> I don't feel like yanking Zelda out of there, so I'm going to grab our copy of Metroid down here. This is, of course, the junk copy I own that I meant that I'm just remembering. I should have brought them yesterday when I went and bought Hayden's birthday gift. I got him a Retron 3 for his birthday. We're going to test and see how well this fits, because on the... Uh, video that I had pulled up, it doesn't fit. Yeah, this doesn't fit very well at all. So I'm gonna have to do some trimming in here um, to get that to fit. But um, as you guys can see, <laughs> so no biggie. But I wanted to test and make sure what, how they fit first before I went and started um, cutting them and all that stuff. Cause I didn't want to waste plastic if um, you know I could make it fit. So I'm gonna print the Mario 64 one now. Um, <laughs> That really did a bit of a hit on my printer. Um, oh, I already have a case in here, but levels are still really good. So I guess it didn't take that much of a hit. So we're going to go ahead and close paint here. Open this one. Same settings, hopefully. We're going to adjust to fit 100% of its size. Hmm. Oh, it's on letter still. Set it to legal. 0.5 margins all the way around, 100% normal size. Horizontally and vertically centered and on landscape on the main tray. So now we can just go over here to print. Make sure the preferences are correct. Best quality print. I'm gonna go ahead and apply that. And here we go, round two, Mario 64. So I'm gonna let this one print and we'll come back to it because uh, that took forever. And you guys already see, I saw the N64 stuff getting printed. So I'm gonna knock this out and then we'll move on to the Game Boy stuff. All right, so we're back with the Game Boy stuff. I got Mario 64's printed. It didn't come out as great and Ruby's came out even worse because it snagged it on the cutting boards. And there was a pretty bad gash in the art, but um, I'll probably reprint it at a later date because I'm really just trying not to reprint as much as I can because um, it's doing quite a bit of hit to my uh, printer right now. So now we've got the stuff for Pokemon Leaf Green. This is one I'm gonna be very careful with. Um, the problem I'm having is the cutting board. I'm accidentally cutting too much edge and it's like curling up and bending in the case. So I mean, you gotta be really precise. You gotta cut it right at the edge of the photo or this is going to come out awful. So print preferences, best quality. Okay. Here goes Leaf Green. Again, not gonna time lapse this one. Um, I'm really being careful with the ink right now, so I'm only doing. I'm probably only gonna do the games that I really care about first, um, and then we'll do the other ones after. Whenever I have uh, some more ink to spare, because these cartridges are really small, so they burn through really quick. All right, guys. So my Leaf Green case is done. Unfortunately, though. My tiny printer and its tiny ink cartridges are depleted, pretty much. Uh, I could probably print one case off more, maybe. But, uh, yeah, it's not looking too good there. So, uh, I might have to overnight some ink uh, from Amazon just to get this done. Uh, I have seven more cases to print because here is all the ones I have for the GBA. Um, part of this is some of the games I don't have yet. Like, I have Sapphire, Fire Red on here. Um, but I do have to print still Pinball, Emerald, Midnight Club, Mario Kart, uh, Hot Wheels, 
Uno 52, uh, and Red Rescue Team. So, I mean, I've got a good bit left to print. Um, and with how much Leaf Green took, Leaf Green had it, before I started printing Leaf Green, it was at that second bar where the black ink is on the right. Um, now it's almost depleted after printing just Leaf Green. So, oh no, though, the cases look great. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, we do have a couple extra printers around the house. I may try to borrow to, to finish these. But the Leaf Green case looks magnificent. And then you just pop it open. Got your Game Boy game in there. I was wanting to get one made for Hayden, but it looks like I'm going to be out of ink to do that with. Um, but I am going to go ahead and get the rest of the cases out start loading games into them. That way, whenever I do get ready to finish up these labels, I can have them all in cases ready to rock. And then all I have to do is just check to see which game goes in which one. And uh, we'll be able to get the rest of the games in there. So... The shelf looks pretty good right now, though. I gotta get labels made for my two NES games. Of course, I gotta cut those cases up. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and slide Leaf Green in there alongside all the DS stuff. So that looks really cool. Um, I still gotta get the case made. I gotta order it from customgamecases.com for a yellow version here. So yellow will have a case of its own. Um, and I probably need to go back and mess with Mario 64 because you can see it's kind of bending up. And the reason for that is this really small white border that is on both sides. Um, literally, that is what's making this case bunch up like that. So all I gotta do is fix, is, you know, do some extra trimming and we will be able to do all that. So let this be a warning to you guys. If you guys do this, it will burn through your printer ink really quickly. So be prepared to have to, you know, get printer ink before you do this. Um, but it looks great. I'm really happy with the turnout so far, minus Ruby's case getting snagged really bad on the front here. Um, the cutting board did that. I was trying to actually use that to cut these little white borders off that I kept leaving on these game cases, and instead it snagged it and ripped it. So, um, like I said, I'm kind of low in ink, so I wasn't willing to reprint it. So I was just like, whatever, I'll just, you know, run it. So, but yeah, the cases look great. I actually like how it all turned out. And uh, like I said, I still got to print the art for the two NES games, but um, everything looks really good. I'm pretty happy. Um, I just got to. You know, finish up all these down here and, of course, get the one for yellow because i got to order that case custom, um, which is, you know, because I don't want to cut up a DS case to put a Game Game Boy game in it when it only costs $2.50 to get the correct one shipped. So, yeah, that's that. Um, unfortunately, it looks like I'm at a bit of a stopping point. I can always print everything in black and white, but it just wouldn't look that good to me, and I don't want to do that. Uh, of course, I could use this as a pretty good placeholder until I can get more ink. Uh, which is what I may wind up doing, is just use them as placeholder prints until I can get um, more actual ink in here to be able to print these in color. So, who knows uh, what I might do. But, yeah, that unfortunately means I have to cut this video short. Um, I really apologize for that. I really wanted to be able to knock out all um, of these extra cases. I have, sitting here, eight games left to print. Uh, one of which doesn't even have a case option, and the other one's a ROM hack that I have to buy a, a special case for as well because I can't find the art anywhere for this game. Um, if anyone has the cover art for Liquid Crystal here, uh, if someone can send it to me, the proper um, dimensions and everything for the DS case, send it to me on Instagram or Twitter. Uh, Twitter is roast underscore tires, and Instagram is one low 4.0. So if you have the art for that, send it to me, please. I would greatly appreciate it so I can be able to make a case for Liquid Crystal to match the rest of the games. Um, but yeah, that's really all I can say right now until then. So uh, hopefully I'll be able to update you guys later on in the future video uh, of all the cases being finished. So all I said, hope you all enjoy this video, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.